Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Um, listen, girl, let me get comfortable, bitch. We have to talk about Kylie Jenner. I listen, listen, okay. Okay, listen, right. Uh, hang on. Whew, I just have to, I have to focus, okay. Um... Kylie Jenner went from reality star to uh, a, a lipstick, lip Jenner, to billionaire, to millionaire, and now she's trying to be Miss Relatable. And, you know, Relatable is in, right? Relatable is in. Relatable is in. Relatable is in. And it's not because it's like a, it's a, it's not a trend to be relatable. It's just people are tired of seeing you know, people's bullshit. They want to see you be the real you. They want to see you be you. They want to see you, you know, um, just not be so high up, you know, or at least think you're so high up. Now, listen, the thing about Kylie Jenner is that she really, really wants to fit in with the TikTok crowd. She wants to fit in with the relatable crowd. She feels like that's the only way to connect to her consumers so they can buy her product, right? But the issue is when you're a billionaire, millionaire, whatever, it's it's hard to try and be relatable, right? Because not everybody has that kind of money. In this video that she's trying to do a TikTok YouTube trend called What's in My Bag? God, I'm like... <sighs> There's like a lot of shit in here. I don't know if we're going to be able to go through all this. Oh, I have. <gasps> okay, this is what I wanted to show you guys. We're going to save this for last. I have. I have Stormy's little watch in here. It was actually my watch, but she wore it. Look how small her wrist is. She wore it to a birthday party and she didn't want to wear it anymore. I have the Skims hair clip. Always need a hair clip. It's a, it's a trend that everyone's done. I did it a couple of days ago, you guys saw. Um, and you know, the, the thing, the issue here, the thing is, is that, you know, the only reason she did that was A, to, 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 to come off as relatable, B, to sell her products because her bag was full of her products. And then three, she failed miserably when she casually took out a Rolex, which belongs to her daughter, and you know, it was just thrown in there. You guys, a Rolex can go up to $125,000. And that's when I, when I think to myself, I said, you know, I'm sure that she checked that bag, you know, before showing what's in her bag, right? You want to make sure that you don't have like, I don't know, bitch, some condoms left around there or, you know, your, your, I don't know, something personal, bitch, you know, she could have a fucking vibrate in there. I don't know, bitch. So I'm sure she, you know, she, she, I, I mean, this is my opinion, but you know, she had to go through her back to see what the fuck is in it. Right. So if she did that, let's for a second think she did that. And she put that Rolex in there, right? Let's just say she did. You know, what is she trying to... I mean, we already know she's super fucking wealthy, right? And I feel like editing those videos, looking back at those videos, and then thinking to yourself, hmm, my family and I, we're getting, we're getting bombarded because we're not relatable enough because we're always showing off our riches. So maybe let's edit this part out and not say so casually. Yeah, uh, my daughter wore it one time and then she, you know, left it and then, you know, she didn't wear it again. That makes you seem not very appreciative of what you have and that is what people are sick of. And I just don't understand how, why don't they help themselves? It's sort of like, girl, let me, help me help you in a situation, you know? Help yourself, boo. 
If you already know that everybody is fucking coming for you for not being relatable and your family's getting canceled because they're not relatable, you might as well want to, you know, oh, you know what? Let me take out the Rolex part. Let me just show my, 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 my products. Let me show my, you know, stupid shit, right? So you can seem relatable. But that's the thing about the Kardashians is I just don't think they want to be relatable. Like, I don't think that they understand that their career is not where it used to be and that they have to they have to keep up with the things now listen i've said this many times before the 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 pandemic right i was more into like glamour and rich and you know i loved seeing it you know it was it was and i still love seeing uh inspirational wealth you know that you that inspires you to get out there to work to do this to invent something bitch you know to you know what i mean to like to 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 hustle to get to where you're going um and now i i i i just i can't see people just be so, you know, wealthy without understanding the times that we are living in. You know, like for example, when everybody was was was, you know, jobless because of the pandemic and, and the Kardashians were still showing, ah, oh, bored at home quarantining and they have like a fucking Olympic pool. You know, they have a, a fucking, you know, room just full of snacks. They have a movie theater. It's sort of like get with the program, babe. You know, you if if they didn't have any products that the public was buying, then I I would say like fuck it you know do whatever you want to do but your brand depends on us right your brand depends on us so we're the ones who are working you know our nine to fives we're working hard to buy your products we're trusting you to 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 spend our hard work our hard-earned money and 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 that's what i mean it's like they're not really doing much to kind of like connect and 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 yeah it's just a rolex and this thing but like Let's not forget that private jet, should we take yours or mine? You know what I mean? So it's those things where I'm like, I don't blame them for being rich, but then if you're gonna be rich, just be rich. Don't try and be relatable. That is the issue there. If it, Paris Hilton girl, she does she does not try and be relatable, you know, and, and everyone loves her for that. They're like, that's that's just Paris Hilton. Like, you know, she lives in her castle, in her Barbie dream castle, and everybody loves her. You have no issues with Paris Hilton trying to be relatable because she doesn't try it. So that's the issue with the Kardashians. I can give a TED talk about the Kardashians, bitch. That's the problem with the Kardashians. They try and be relatable when in fact they cannot. You know what I mean? Like, do you get that? I think you do. Imagine like your daughter, you give your daughter like 125,000 Rolex and she's like, ah, I don't want any more. Girl, I will super glue that shit on her, okay? Don't fuck, uh, uh bitch. But you know, I don't know, I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like, look, honestly, yesterday I was looking at uh, Paris Hilton's Instagram and she fully knows that her she has a dream life. She has a dream home. She has a dream everything. And she just shows it off. And, you know, it doesn't seem like she's bragging because she doesn't pretend to be anyone else. And that's why I think the Kardashians get so much flack is because they try and be relatable. But then it just comes off as just hungry to sell a product, you know? So I would just be like, just be rich then, you know, just, just... Just be rich. Like, don't don't try and be like, hey guys, so what's in my bag? Oh no, I'm dropping things. I'm so relatable. No, bitch. You know, oh yeah, this is Stormy's, uh, um, this is Stormy's Rolex. She didn't care about it anyways. You know what I mean? So it's sort of like, just, just do that, you know? Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, what do you think the Kardashians can do to, to, to kind of like come back and, and you know, what do you think they can do? Anyways, I love you all. I'm so grateful for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.